Hey guys, JTH here, longtime fan and reactor of the movie trivia Schmodown. But the real question here is, how well do you know the Schmodown? Myself, I'll be taking part in the next edition of the Schmodown Trivia Schmodown, presented by Take Through Productions and the official Collider Podcast Network. You'll be seeing me team up with Schmodown Central host Brad Thomas as we take on Team Masterpost, consisting of Tyler Myers and Tin Sim. We might be the undercard match, but let me tell you guys right now, the four of us are real main event talent. We'll be the lead-in match for the triple threat main event match between Abe Flores, Matt Kearns, and Chris Delitzky, with the winner having the opportunity to play either Linus Babcock or Frankie Stats Janish for the Schmodown Trivia Schmodown Championship of the World. Schmodown Trivia Schmodown airs monthly on either Take Through Productions or the official Collider Podcast Network channel. Check out the official Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page for any updates or details for any matches that may come in the future. This is JTH. Adieu, adieu, and be there. We're getting set for Founding Fathers versus Team Corruption. This seems to be a match where everybody's got a side. And if you don't have a side for this match, well, what the hell ails you? Lots of people are going for Mike and Chance Team Corruption. Lots of people are going for uh, Dan and John, the Founding Fathers. Lots of people are going for both sides. That doesn't make any sense. Well, who is JTH rooting for? Well... We'll find out after the intros today on JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Out of time, so say goodbye. What is yours? Now is mine. And I dream broken dreams. I make them come true. So, John Roca, Dan Merle, this is the beginning of, of Outlaw Week. Uh, Roca sweeping the Schmodown Nation. Uh, he's got a championship match this Friday. And uh, But first off, we have uh, this matchup between Merle and Roca against Ellison and Kalinowski. This is a match where I'm not really sure where to go on. Now that my bracket's in a billion pieces, I can look at this a little more from a far away standpoint, vantage point, vantage, that's the word I was looking for. Um, obviously, being at the Schmodown Live event uh, about a month ago, it's hard to believe it's almost been a month since that match happened, um, got to see how Dan and John fared firsthand, and Roca, he, tend, he seemed to do uh, fairly well. Obviously, he had been in that uh, spotlight before, in that live Schmodown atmosphere. Uh, Dan, obviously, it was his first time back since losing to Andrew Guy, one of the biggest upsets in Schmodown history. He looked a lot antsier than I would have expected, considering he has done, you know, live things before in competition, you know, things with movie fights. So he looked a little more antsy than I was expecting him to be. Uh, but ultimately, they fared all right against Stacy and uh, Winston uh, with a TKO victory. Chance and Mike. Um, this was another match where I felt they probably should have done much better than they did. I don't know if it was just Matthew McConaughey tripped them up that bad. Um, Mike, I feel, needs to play a lot better than he did in that first match. Um, Chance uh, did exactly what I figured he would. Um but ultimately, it was a very, I would say, underwhelming first performance. I feel like both teams felt like they could have done way, way better than they could have. So, um, unfortunately, one of these teams is not going to get to reach their maximum peak potential uh, before getting knocked out of this tournament. The way that this tournament has been going, I originally had uh, Mike and Chance winning, but... With the way that this tournament has played out, I'm really not sure where to go anymore. Um, we've obviously had uh, Riley and Bateman advance. We've had the new Harris Brothers team advance. And we've had um, Andrako and Snyder advance. It's a really teams that are really all over the place. Teams that we didn't really think uh, would have a lot of chemistry, have moved on, played very well. So the whole process of, well, Chance and Mike get along really good. Obviously, they're going to fare very well. 
that doesn't really seem to be the case anymore. Um, it just really seems to come down to uh, which teams have more knowledge. Um, and like I said, Mike has got to play a lot better than he did in that first match because I think it might end up hurting them uh, in the grand scheme of this. So um, ultimately, I'm going to give Dan and John the slight, 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 slight edge. Um, it's all going to depend on how Mike plays. It's going to be uh, it's as simple as that. Um, also going to depend on uh, who's, uh, what categories are going to be on the wheel. Um, we were not given anything uh, in advance, I don't believe, in terms of the Patreon stuff. So I'm probably going to be just as surprised as you all are. So um, with that being said, I've rambled for about three minutes now. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this in three, two, and one. Oh, 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 oh. KO here. And here we are, the start of the tournament that I helped create. Coming off of inner geekdom, As they I did the what I said I was going to do. Time. Guess what? Isn't there a way to it's get rid of those credits? Because you play fair, <coughs> play by the rules, and things happen for you. Just like you still have playing raw for that footage. Belt. It's spectacular. Chance Ellison is a kid who was playing in these fan leagues. There are fan leagues all over the internet. Here, he played in all of them. He won in all of them. And the rumor has it that he's never lost a match. That's not true. He lost a wrestling trivia match. And here's to a good match. Oh, for Inky and the Brain, 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 Brain. Earth. Dun, 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 dun. What, what a shame. Gonna be Inky and the Brain gone. Dameron, the Animaniac parody gone. Next. Team has been, you talking Somebody about? Somebody apparently doesn't I like the 90s classic cartoons. I mean, you got Roka, who he's got more failure in his match than the Captain Heigl movie. And you got Dan, who let guy beat him so you know what i'm not intimidated not one damn bit we see rogan well so many times they come hey, down, they try that to location looks opponent. familiar what are winston and stacy going to bring to this table you know, john roke and i decided to call ourselves the founding fathers because we helped build the legacy of this game Horseman! Horseman! God, that's become a great form mike mckellen and orlando bloom and your winner that's become a great sound bite too I, uh, I don't tend to have that, uh, that sound like said in, on my behalf all that much. Uh, what I know is uh, John and I are uh, we <coughs> prepared for this match, and we're going to keep preparing, and we plan to go out, walk out, play every game, and when the game's over, we're going to have the most points on the board, and that's all we care about. Founding Fathers. Corrupted people. Anarchy, anarchy, error. I still believe they all changed that because JTH started doing that all the time. And they wanted me to shut up. Hello, Mark. Hello, Christian. The gang's all here. Christian wearing that SummerSlam parody schmo down shirt. Mark Ellis over here. I'm Christian Harlow, and Mark, what a battle we have tonight. It's going to be a doozy, Christian. We have the old guard versus new classics. It's like Young Guns 1 is playing Young Guns 2. That's absolutely right. Listen, this is a thing that Mike Kalinowski, <laughs> well, we say Thad, but we know that Kalinowski was the one who put Pulling it together. the strings, the puppet master. And one of the things puppet that it might have master. backfired on him was that inside of this random yeah, I could do a great John puppet. Roca and Dan Merle once foes are now teammates and they showed at their first match at the live event they took care of business when they beat stacy howard and winston marshall they Wait, did it they got here and that, mike Kalinowski those big tko letters did not pop Chantel up in the live ever. building well we found it we know who he is now i Seven feel ripped off they fought well to get back against rachel silvestrini and devon stewart they wound up winning that match and here they are going into round number two but you said it it's new guard yeah. 
versus Old Guard. He didn't flip can me off because I didn't see Ellison, it. it we, can he put up a performance against two of the greatest of all time? That's right. And John Roca, Dan Merle, now that they've had some success and they've experienced failure, they've had some hurt of late in the movie trivia showdown in general, can they come back former teams? Certainly, like you mentioned, it's a live event. I flew 4,000 miles just to see them play. Not since the Foo Fighters have two Fs come together so well. Now, when you look on the other side, corruption, Mike Kalinowski, Chance Ellison. I'm a big fan of this Ellison kid. What is he, 9, 10, 11? Something He's like a that. prodigy. He's like the uh, No, he's Avenger. about five. Well, we're going to find out. He was playing out five in the family leagues for a while, and he had never been beaten. So Mike Kalinowski recruited him, brought him in, and here we go. We have him in corruption. But the other thing that we have, like, John Roca is going under the radar here for potentially player of the year. He's been win he won a lot of matches. And I was he, his first autograph. Now going that is confirmed. Championship right around the corner here against Bibiani. And Dan Merle, I saw it in his eyes. The Dan Merle from two years ago seems like he's back. When I looked at I looked at he's hungry again. He wants to play because he's like win or lose. He just wants to play the game again. I think when he came back, it was just kind of thrown back into what it is now. I think he gets it now. I think he just wants to play again, and that is pun intended, a dangerous dance. Well, we're at the time of the year where you start thinking about Player of the Year honors, about awards. Player of the, the Year. Yes, yes. We've already movies, talked about Player of the Year like at nauseam already. Corruption, a star is born, minus the romantic tension. Let's see what the teams themselves <coughs> have to say. All right, all right. Founding fathers, that's what we called ourselves because we built this thing. The greatest of all time. And the other face on Mount Rushmore coming together. We took care of business at that live event. You saw it. The man back from the dead took care of us, answered all those movie release dates. I had to sit back. It was nice to sit in the back seat and watch Dan drive, watch the new Merle Order drive this bus. Fun fact, one Here of them we was are, mine. gentlemen. Round two, where the tournament starts really getting shit. interesting. And we, the fine fellows of corruption, are taking on the Founding Fathers. And much like our Founding Fathers here in these United States of America, their ancient history. We got a, ooh, we got a fresh face on the other side yeah, of that we table. Do. I like having an inexperienced player because you know what? Sometimes they work out, but sometimes they get caught in those lights, John. Yeah. And I like, I like that we're facing somebody that just might happen yeah. it's easy to be a fan of the game can he play the game and can he play the game against the two of us right. that's what we're going to find out here today you know i get a lot of people asking me you know what's it feel like you know being in your second match i'm going to go up against two all-time greats in merle and roca how do i feel i feel like i'm fighting fucking fossils over here i've had just about enough of corruption. You know, when it first started, I was like, that's cute, that's nice. You handle your side of the business. The Schmodown Kingdom is big enough to let you live and let us live. But now you're coming up against the Horseman, son. We are the league, and we are gonna crush you. There's no weak links in the second round. There's no one. There are fantastic teams here. We came into this, you know, some people are seen saying that, you know, they're the favorites or whatever, they're, you know, their history or whatever, but hey, they're great competitors. Not gonna dodge them on that. They earn my respect, but. This is where it ends for them. It's the end of the line. I don't look past games, and I don't look past opponents, and I don't look past what we're doing here today. But if we're lucky enough to win here today, yeah. and I get a chance at that other half of team action, oh, I can't wait for that. Roca, Merle, your has been, I am now. As in, I am now going to go with boy Mike right here into that ring, and we're going to beat both of you. Kid speaks the truth. He does. Today is about looking at the past and then go into the future. What did I tell you? An angry Dan, a driven Dan, a hungry Dan is a dangerous Dan. I'm so lucky to be riding side by side with this guy. We'll see what happens in the match. Very nice. Very nice. Well, Ken Knapsack was but the one kind of chance. Watch your language. And saying that this is watch your language. Really don't, maybe, don't make me don't make me whip the soap out. Also, I still got some soap that I got from L.A. In singles, I can whip it out right now. Them, I won't throw that and camera though. It, it's so my okay. It's not an expensive camera. We know. I, I've been the scenes, joked about it for um, long in enough. Front of the desk, it's cheap, always but a threat. Now, chance with the internet connection I've got, it's probably for the best. Round, but when he, excuse me, big second round, but when he looks over, that is the one thing people have complained about. Why don't you get a higher quality champion, camera? Single champion, and then there's the but, uh, champion. Will he be able like to I say, to quote Mark Wahlberg in the classic rock the, um, he grew up with pictures with of these guys internet on his walls, so bad. And now he's one of them, or he if I actually had a higher definition, today, higher quality, Christian, like more data, more memory for these, for corruption. my videos would never upload. It would take freaking forever. Let's be happy for what I got. 
There are comic book movies and staying under the Rant radar. Over. Is listening to Ken Let's Topic enjoy the match and now. Going to summer camp. He's a child. Yeah. The Founding Fathers <laughs> movie release dates we see was a strength. Westerns, biopics, and on the quest for all the titles, title, all the bells. All the titles, They're the anti wild berries. All the records. That's a direct quote. One team is wild berries. None of the belts. The all the matches. All the shirts. Way, none of the wins. It's gonna be anarchy. Are you ready to get going? Oh yeah. Let's see if the audience is ready to come. Eh, Ladies eh, and gentlemen, eh. it's time for the movie, movie trivia, trivia showdown. Oh, oh, nice Yankees hat, Christian. Better luck next year. Just like the o Oh, and hi, fellow O's fan, Mark Ellis. Led to the ring by their manager, the pit boss, Ken Napsai, with a record. Yes, we have a small down to play. Horseman with a record of one win, no defeats, and one knockout. He is the former team champion, former singles champion, and the number one ranked contender. Oh, John the I saw Oka, you and his partner, the two time. Can't fool me, I saw you, John. Champion, dangerous Dan Murrell, the founding. Yeah, congrats, Dan. You beat a puppet. You recently got that belt back. All right. Puppet. So, Mark, our competitors have sat down at the table. Let us get to the rules. That's like me right. beating this Coke can. Belts, your masks, oh, other you have what an accomplishment for me. Match. In round number one, well, for me, it would be an accomplishment because the field. And that the would mean I actually won. Mind, round number one, you may not consult with your teammate on any question. It's an individual exercise. Every point you get Speaking of an accomplishment, total. let's see if I can get a question, question right. One point. Now no that, for missing a question, nor that is would be an accomplishment. In round number one, nor is nor an actual word. I'll remind each team of your three usages of the JTE rule. Throughout the duration of the three rounds, if you're not sure you heard a question correctly, you need to buy yourself some time. Use the JTE rule. Each team also First question comes in horror. Darn, there the goes my perfect team. round. All right, Corruption, are you guys ready? We're ready. Founding Fathers, are you ready? Let's do this. We're ready. Then let's get ready to schmooda! Yay! Full house here today. Full, full house. house. Yes, Bob Sackett's in the warm. building. Yes, they, are they nervous? Are they tight? Or are they sleepy? No, no. We're going to find out right now. Here we Who go, gentlemen. Bob in the category Sackett. of comedies. Comedies. Aaron Paul appears as Dwayne Johnson's former partner, Phil, in which film? Uh, I auditioned for RB3, the movie, today. Didn't get it. Well, let's Didn't get book it. I made the call. Didn't get it. I made the call and told him not to catch. Are you a producer on the Five. Four, way too three, far back on this. Two. Repeat the question. Rundown. Aaron Paul appears as Dwayne Johnson's former partner Phil in what film? You know what RB3 told me? It's definitely not the rundown. I think that's way too early. I can believe it. Haven't heard from his people. I own his people. Five. Four. Let's try this Two. The run. One pens down. Mike Kalinowski. Central Intelligence? Correct. Uh, Roka. Oh, I don't know. Central Intelligence? Correct. Uh, Central Intelligence. Yes, oh. Dan. I remembered it, but too late, because I said the other guys. Oh, 
close. Again, I remembered it after the bell. All right, so we oh, got 2-1, 2-1. Two, two, well, yeah, I got too caught up in thinking, well, Kevin Hart's in that. So it's obviously not that. <laughs> nope, I was wrong. Rush out. Yeah. To action adventure films. These are action adventure movies. In the 1996 film Twister, the new device designed to gather data from tornadoes is named after what fictional character? I'm gonna spell her name. Really? Five. Four. Human being, great song. Three. It's a twister. It's a twister. It's Dorothy. One. Ken's down. Ken's down. Roca. I Dorothy? Correct. What? Chance. Didn't have it. Didn't have it. Chance. Dorothy. Yeah. Mike. Chance. Mike. Dorothy Twister. It's a twister. It's a twister toner. Oh, man. Next question here. Dramas. Drama. Need to watch Twister, Chance. Which it's a great film. Which song plays during the opening credits as How Peter I Fonda my and Dennis Hopper start their journey in 1969? Stole my adventure, you son of a bitch. The tornado device in Twister is named Dorothy, of course, in honor Dorothy. of the Golden Girls character. Dorothy, Tucker, you damn thief. Five, it's true. Four, three, two, have no idea. one. Pens down, please. Chance. Born to be wild. That is correct. Dan. Born to be wild. Yep, mm. Mike. <laughs> A man comes around. Oh, and Roca. Born Ro to be wild. Roca had it. I didn't know it was that early. Comes yeah. our way. All right, so. Born to be wild was that early? Damn. All right, in the world of animated movies mm. is your next query, and it is, what is the name of Bambi's rabbit friend in Disney's Bambi? Good old Bams. One could say Bambi and her rabbit friend, a born to be wild. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Four. Oh, three. God, I oh, it. Two. Okay. One pens down. Dan. Thumper. Thumper. Correct. Mike. Thumper. Yep. Uh, what's your name? Roca. Thumper. And Chance. Thumper. Yes. All right. Seven, five. Seven, five. All right, guys. Fantasy sci fi. Fantasy sci fi. What 2000 sci-fi film starring Val Kilmer and Tom Sizemore follows a group of astronauts being terrorized by their own robot after their Mars mission goes awry? Mm. Oh, is that God. word enough? Awry. Yeah, that's. Uh, it, it's it's awry. You said it right. Yeah, I know. Not awry. Five. Awry. Awry. Four. Three. And it goes uh, two. Awry. One. Change down. Mike Konowski. Red Planet. Yes. Fuck. Roca. Oh. Nah, Mission to Mars. Uh, I was with Mission to Mars. And Dan. Red Planet. Dan, Dan got it. Dan on fire now. Thank Eight you, Dan. Six. Yeah, I guess that makes Eight sense. six. We move on to Scott Planet. and Manson. Excuse me. Ben Bateman's favorite category. Movie release dates. Movie release dates. The question is, Oliver Stone's historical drama, JFK, was released in what year? We are going to uh, go to Mars, and we are going to send Val Kilmer and Tom Sizemore. Five. There. I'm trying to stop it. Four, three, two, one. Damn Pens it. down, please. And John Roca. I I don't know. 1991. Correct. Oh. Chance. 1991. Yep. Dan. 1991. And Kalinowski. Ah. Uh, oh, 1991. Ah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> a lot of games. I like it. Going on I like it. Right I now. like it. I but it's a hell of a game right now. 89. We got 10-8 as we get to our next question. Horror slash thriller. And there it is. Horror thriller. In 1982's Poltergeist, who played the father, Stephen Freeling? <laughs> wow, they, they all... Uh, Why is everybody time? laughing? Is this something I should like know? know the answer? <laughs> it's, it's so entertaining when they do that. Five. It doesn't waste I'm time at four. all. Four. Well, three. I'm just, I'm just two, watching to see what the answer is. One. Chance. Craig T. Nelson. That is correct. Dan? Craig T. Nelson. Hmm. Craig, Craig T. Nelson. Nelson. And Roca. Do, 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 do. So, I mean, look at this. Founding fathers here up by two. Yeah, I'll just do coach. No, no, no. 12 to 10. Fathers corruption sounds like a discount gin brand. We move on to our last question in round number one, and it is a Patreon question. Thank you to Jake Hammer. I've got the captions on. He just said this is a patriotic question. Clap for the Patreons, Chance. Just support the movie trivia. Put on Patreon. Select which tier is right for you, Jake. Today's patriotic question. Question oh, cool. comes from Jake Hammer. Congratulations, Jake. And you're a patriot. This family film. Name the family film from the following quotes. Attention, campers. Lunch has been canceled today due to lack of hustle. Deal with it. Tough question in the first round. I'll tell you that. Oh. That's a good first round. Good Great first round. Play. And they're Five, scoring well. Four. Nope. 
Three. That'd be heavyweight. Two. One. Pens down. Starting with Mike Kalinowski. Is it heavyweight? Correct. Dan. Oh. Roca. Good job. Chance. Heavyweights. And Dan. I said the Sandlot. Wow. Oh Tie no. Tie game. Chance. I got a question that Chance didn't know, and I got a question that Dan and John didn't know. Hi, Dan. I feel so good today. Mark, how does round two work? In round number two, now the teams are allowed to collaborate between their I feel somewhat better now. At a correct answer. And a tie game? That was, uh... Provided courtesy of the Wheel of Doom, Justice Slash Fate. And today's wheel is a sponsored wheel, Kyle Gerbrand. He sponsored the wheel. His slices are Horror and Jim Henson. Thank you, Kyle, hmm. for all your patronage. We also have one more sponsored slice. Those would be Kevin Smith. And if they spin Kevin Smith, we'll say the name of that patron. All right. Each category has six questions. Like I mentioned, each question Kevin is worth points. There's only a couple the capes in one of those categories. Give you four options, one of which is the correct answer, at which point the value of the question goes down to Well, that is unless, you know, they talk about the great Gonzo. Well, then, then there's a cape in that two. one. Christian got a lot of leather on one side, a lot of accoutrements <laughs> on the other side. All right, Founding Fathers, so you guys, would you like to go first or second? We're going to go second. Second. All right, so corruption, chooser, and please spin from the wheel, not the pegs. Let's go, money. Grab the wheel, not the peg. Not the pegs, not the pegs. That Jim Henson one is. I'm, I'm fascinated by I wonder what they're looking for. Let's go. 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 They feel good about that one, and I will be administering the questions in the world of action adventure to the corrupt. Certainly not Matthew McConaughey. I guess uh, they'll Simpsons take that win. Chance and Mike. What Game of Thrones star played Harrow Tovar in The Great Wall? Pedro Pascal. It is, in fact, Pedro Pascal for two points. Yeah. Very nice chance. And they're off to a hot start. Your next Just question. Fire here. What film was Jean-Claude Van Damme's directorial debut? The Quest. Starring Roger Moore as well. Two more points. <laughs> Having a good round here so far. Corruption is. Congratulations. Have a swig of Who drink. Who plays the female love interest to Charlize Theron in Atomic Blonde? Sophia Batella. It is, in fact, Sophia Batella. And they're still perfect. The mummy. Round number two as we're halfway through. Next question. In Mad Max Fury Road, what is the name of Immortan Joe's followers who are chasing Furiosa and Max and that he was once a part of? That Nux was once a part of? The War Boys. It is, in fact, the War Boys. And, um, That's impressive. Do we just give him the next points or do we have to ask the question? That's impressive. That's how it's numbered. This is very good five. stuff here. Your penultimate question. In round number two, what real life author does Paul Bettany portray in 2001's A Knight's Tale? Multiple choice. Uh, is it A. William Shakespeare, B. Geoffrey Chaucer, C. Thomas Mallory, D. John Milton? Chaucer? It is, in fact, Chaucer. Uh, Give him one point. more point. It's all right. And they have one more chance for points in round number two, unless they steal. A hell of a round so far, though. Fathers. Hell of a round. Doing very well. you got to wonder if the Founding Fathers are shaking in their powdered wigs. Your last question is, in 2004's, in 2004's Troy, who plays the main antagonist, Agamemnon, whom Achilles begrudgingly fights for? Brian Cox. Yeah. Uh, very impressive round. That is correct. With two more points. Wow. So do it. And not a Matthew McConaughey so, question right, of so one. Corruption taking a like huge that. lead. Eleven points here. Eleven points, and the Fathers have to hit something that they are confident with here. And Roca, go ahead and give it a spin, please, from the wheel. Yeah, I'm guessing okay. Dan didn't want any part of that wheel, wheel after uh, the last couple times. Bit. Trying to <coughs> how hard he wants to get a spin. He's been up at this yeah, wheel more times than he'd like to recount. They need something that they're going to be strong. It oh, could be spinner's around. choice. It's, it's coming, coming around, around a little too hot. 
Is it gonna be Jim Henson? Jim Henson. Jim Henson. How do they feel about it? Merle given the sign to spin again. Oh, not a fan of them muckets. They're gonna have to take whatever. Shame on you, John. Could be Jim Henson again. You never know. James Bond, uh, clearly a strength of Kalinowski's. They would probably like probably to avoid be. that. Probably will be. Um, oh, and it looks like they're going to be coming up towards horror movies here, Christian. Horror. Oh. Horror movies, not a strength. I don't of think John's going to be much help here. Horror yeah. movies. Horror He's movies. All right, horror movies. I know you're afraid of horror In fact, movies. during the title movie? match with Bibbs, right, I'm go, guessing guys. that's what Bibbs is going to put on the wheel. It's horror. Ones. Here we go. This one, uh, did yeah, you, see the nun? you can tell. John's not going to be much help here. Yes. <laughs> All right. Two yes, two points. All right, here we go. First question in horror, who plays the girl? Should have stuck with them Muppets. Possessed? Regan McNeil in 1973's The Exorcist. Linda Blair. For two points. Okay. Throws up pea soup. It's gross. Question two, who played Candyman in the 1992 film Candyman? Tony Todd. Two points. Okay. Next That's question. about what Broker's going to do in this Four one. Yeah, go for it. girls pursue witchcraft but their own, for their own gain, but soon encounter negative repercussions in what supernatural horror film? The craft? Two points. They're running through a category they didn't necessarily yearn for, but it's bearing fruit so far. Now here's question four. In Bubba Hotep, <laughs> Bruce Campbell plays Elvis Presley, who is forced to battle the evil mummy with his friend Jack. Jack claims to be which famous ex-president? <laughs> Jack Kennedy. Correct. Mm. All right. That is uh, nice correct. one, John. Or John F. Kennedy, if you want to be specific. Yeah, fine. <laughs> All right. That's what they call these call friends call him. Uh, I knew Jack Kennedy. <laughs> you and know Jack Kennedy. Question five. Question five. In 2000's Scary Movie, who plays the series main protagonist, Cindy Campbell? Is that her horror? Anna Ferris. Two points. And all right, they're within one of taking the lead or tying corruption. It all depends. Boy, on if they the ran the question. table with all this right, category, that would be huge. How many films have officially been released in the Paranormal Activity film series? You have 20 seconds. Six. Five. Four. Three. We'll do multiple choice. Okay. Is it A, 3, B, 5, C, 6, D, 8? Six. Five, four, three, Six. Two. Correct for one point. Yes! And we are tied Five going into round Let's three. I think that question game. showed up once Let's before. Let's have some fun. As Don't quote me on that. see a tie game horror. What a Maneuvering I seem to remember category. that. 23, 23. Who to I seem to remember me picking five on that once before, and the answer was six. Number three, Mark tie game. How's it go? <laughs> this is good stuff right now. The founding fathers looking like Alexander Hamilton. After round one, tied. After round two, tied. After round three, each team is going to give us a series of. Let's hope it's not tied. Because three weeks later. Your first question is going to be worth two points. Your next one, three points. The last one, five points. Here's how it works with the team format, as I'm sure all you gentlemen are aware, is that you know the drill. You give us, we'll tell you the category. You have to that choose number teammate and is going to answer that you question on win a match. There's no rhyme involved in there. Pick that number, win. By the other teammate, you may consult with That's the easiest goal. rhyme of all. <coughs> final question in round three. All right, so founding fathers, founding fathers, uh, please choose three numbers. Uh, eight, twelve, and six. Eight, twelve, and six. At least there's a two in there. All right, so for corruption. What's the range again? From one to twenty. From the twenty. Okay, so we'll go sixteen, twenty, eighteen. Sixteen, twenty, eighteen. All right, so corruption will go first with the, with their two pointer, and let's start here. All right, sixteen. That's what you guys chose. And you got directors. All right, here we go. Who's choosing directors? We're talking to yep. those over there. I'll take it. You're going to take it. All right, here you go, Mike. Directors. Ridley Scott, David Fincher, and James Cameron have all directed films in which film franchise? The Alien franchise. That's correct. Two That's points. What you all right, all right. now we jump to the Founding Fathers, who got category number eight. 
All right, Founding Fathers, Mr. Washington, Mr. Jefferson. Selecting category number eight. That corresponds to the world of dance. Dance? I won't dance. dance. Who would like oh, to take oh, oh, dance, 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 dance. Oh, I, know. what do you think? I guess I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, you can get the three. Yeah, I'll take right. the sword on this one. Uh, John Roca. Congratulations. We'll be answering <laughs> dance Jesus. movies. And your question is... Can I phone a friend? Black Swan stars Natalie Portman and Mila Kunis competing for the lead role in what classic ballet? Swan Lake. Two points. Jeez. He loves hey, his dance I could have even guessed that. I got All culture. Right. All right, we, we bounce, we bounce Swan back. Lake. We That's bounce like back the most here. No ballets there is. Ellison, we'll go with crime. Crime movies. Yvonne, our crime ballet movies expert, chance. perhaps can give us a little of Swan NYPD Lake as he walks down the walk of shame. Five. I didn't get the first part of that question. Can you hear it again? All right, that's your first one. Yeah. Who plays NYPD cop and friend of Freddie Heflin, Gary Figgis, in Copland? Sylvester Stallone. Correct. Looking for Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta. All right, bouncing oh. back to Dan Merle that. now. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Uh, that's tough. Uh, all right, so Dan Merle gets a three-pointer here for number 12, which corresponds up here to my answer desk. The world of sports movies. Oh boy. Oh boy, shit. Movies with some sort of athletic. Come ability. on now, you're Come on. FSU guy. You it's got this. The Titans. Oh. Fuck. Who played Coach Yost's football loving daughter, Cheryl? Five. Four. Three. I'll JTE. All right. And remember the Titans. Who played Coach Yost's football-loving daughter, Cheryl? Five, four, three, two. Yeah, Scarlett Johansson. Looking for Hayden, Hayden Pantaneri. Wow. Yeah. Well, so back Damn and it, forth, back and forth we go. Still tied, five pointers each. I've seen that so like now, one time. Yeah, I don't remember that. So remember the Titans again, coming back to rear its ugly head. Ay, 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 ay. I got to watch that movie. All right, so, so Sam Levine, it hurt Sam and it hurt Drew, and now it gets dangerous, Dan, as we now get to Corruption, who's got their five-pointer. If they hit it, they bounce back and force the Founding Fathers to hit their five, or if they miss it, they give the Founding Fathers a chance to win the game. Here you go. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock is your category. Mm. Sandra Bullock, here we go. Name the 2015 film that pits political strategist Calamity Jane against her arch rival Pat Candy, played by Billy Bob Thornton. Five, four, three. Repeat the question. Name the 2015 film that pits political strategist Calamity Jane against her arch rival Pat Candy, played by Billy Bob Thornton. Our brand is crisis. That's correct. Yeah. Wow. Big, big Fuck shot yeah. there. Gives corruption yeah. a chance to win the game. Fuck. But the founding fathers have a chance to tie it and send it in oh, a sudden tie it. overtime. It might get me tied. <laughs> Category points, number six, right? Which you are allowed to collaborate on does come from Christian's guest number six. And it's from the world. You had dance movies. You had sports movies. Oh, boy. Now you get romantic comedies. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. Crowd loves it. I curse. How many JT are, are left? Dizzle. They have one left. All right. <laughs> Gentlemen, oh, your question. Damn it. For five points and to send it into extra innings. Can we get him to calm down over there? Or is that, is that no, it's, he's not doing anything. Yeah. That's fine. Excited. Not you, fool. Nobody's looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> All eyes on me. Please. So exciting. Come on, let's go. I would agree with that sentiment. Who played Ralph, the kidnapper, in Robert Zemeckis' Romancing the Stone? God. Jesus Christ. Five, four, three, two. We'll JT it. Last one. Who played Ralph, the kidnapper, in Robert Zemeckis' Romancing the Stone? 
Danny DeVito. Mm. That's correct. You motherfucker. Wow. That is correct. You motherfucker. That is correct. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. We play in the Browns today. I hope we just tie. Sending it in and even tricking his Woo! own teammate. And getting a JT roll usage wow. in the process wow. of neither team real. really. Uh, Will this match ever to end? It's going to tie. We know how they're reliance on each other, but it's really going to depend on the strength of the individual as opposed to the sum of the parts now that we are here in sudden death. All right, so as we get to sudden death, Mark. 500 questions three weeks later. We're due time. We're due time. Like round one, We're due time. Increased exponentially. This will determine the outcome <coughs> of the match. We'll ask a question up here at the answer desk, and you write down your best attempt at an answer on the I'll do the honors for you. Each question's worth one Short. point. Here's sure. the kicker. If one team comes I wish y'all would bring that back. That was brilliant. More than your opposing team. Brilliant soundbite. Just as brilliant as so Horseman. Horseman. Vice versa. Obviously, there's no stealing, and there's no relying on your teammate for their knowledge in sudden death. It is up to the individual. All points you get do accumulate on behalf of your team. Founding Fathers and Corruption, I will ask the individual, starting with Dan, going down the line. If you understand the rules of sudden death, then you're ready to play. Yes, sir, I do. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready? Willing and able to assist in the case of emergency. All right, guys, if you're ready to go, here we go. And... Corruption does have one last JTE rule. The Founding Fathers are out. All right, here we go. And I'm not going to tell you categories either. Here we go. Who directed 1999's The Three Kings? Uh-oh. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hands down. Dan. I didn't get it written down in time. I know that it's, it's David O. Russell. I did not get it written down in time. I wrote down Spike Jones, David O. Russell. I tried to write down there. I, I leave it to your judgment. Can't accept but it. You don't have okay. anything there at all. So. David O. Russell. David O. Russell. Fuck. David O. Russell. Oh. And your winner! Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. wait. I thought wait, you said it wait. counted. Wait. You said he's the first. He wait, I thought. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You got it. Wait. You got it right. Wait, he's getting second. It's the Jane Fonda all over again. <laughs> all right, we are back, and uh, much, much, much uh, debate going on here. Phone calls were made, conversations were had. This is the, the biggest challenge we've ever had. These are the ever. quality checks that we issue to right. bring you the best possible game. Here is the official ruling. I'm not doing this one. Mark, here you go. I seem to do a lot of these, and I'm happy to because I'm a fan of refereeing the rules, and at the Rules Summit, that we had many months ago, we determined that in order to get a correct question answered in either round one, the betting round round three, or in sudden death overtime, it's a timed question. So not only do you have to think of the correct answer, you also need to write down the correct answer in the time allotted. It's the same amount of time for every competitor. Just because one competitor is asked first to reveal their answer, the other four, the other three competitors are not allowed to continue writing. It's the same rules for everyone, and with that ruling, that does mean that corruption will be winning and advancing to the next Wait. round of the Anarchy Tournament. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. And that's the ruling part. And with that, Corruption has advanced to the next round. Mike Kalinowski, Chance Elson will play against Mark Riley and Ben Bateman. And wow, I mean, that was, that was something. I don't see controversy in this match anywhere. He clearly had not written down David O. Russell in the time allotted. Now, obviously, you can say the Chance didn't write down a Russell the proper way, but it was phonetically correct. Therefore, the point is awarded. It's a tough way to lose a match. I'll give anybody that, but it is how they lost the match, and it was done fair and square by Corruption, who knew now they're going to move on to play in round number three. That's all I got. All right, we're going to get to talk to Jen Sturger, who may or may not be with <laughs> the teams. We're going to we find know who's showing up right now. Thanks, Mark and Christian, for putting me in this fun spot back oh, here. We gotta um, go to the winners first now. Yeah, because obviously, guys. Uh, I'd like to John say cool. congratulations. I'm sure 
none of us wanted the match to end the way it did uh, with any kind of controversy because I think we all want to win clean around here. But um, the rules that we ironed out in our rule meeting specifically said um, punctuation really doesn't matter as long as phonetically you spell it correctly. And there is no other, I looked it up, there is no okay. Irish I was gonna say this. David O'Russell. I've dealt with this before with Frigga and Frigga. I spelled it wrong and I pronounced it wrong. He spelled it right, pronounced it right, end of debate. That's yeah. it. I've dealt with this before. To see it go to that level, it shouldn't have gone to that level. It shouldn't and have. And that's why it ruled that way. Uh, it sucks, but. Yeah, absolutely. But we've been, we've all been there. We've all seen this happen, you know, and we've ironed out these rules for a reason in case these type of things happen. First of all, I want to, don't, you don't need to worry about us. Jennifer, you know, I respect you as a professional. You're not in a tough spot Thanks, here. Ken. We're happy to be here talking about this match. And what, what, what this is about is it's a check by the box. It's a victory. It's two Titans meeting. And that's what this was. And yes, by that, I'm inferring that this is now a Titan of the game. This Wonderkin chance coming in here and, 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 and really showing what he's capable of here. And this is about a man who's had the entire uh, uh, league on his shoulders uh, in a way, exposing the corruption of what's going on. There's a lot of other things going on in his mind. So to have you perform like a champion today, Mike, it, it was a pleasure to watch. And, and I know the other uh, gentlemen are upset. I know it didn't go their way. But at the end of the day, this was always about truth and destiny. And that's what we're here today for. I can't sum it up any better than that. Hey guys, we're back with the Founding Fathers. <laughs> guys, obviously I know this is not the way you wanted this match to go down. This is not how you wanted this match to end. Um, I think we're all a little surprised and confused and are need some time to process this You're whole not thing. the only ones. Um, but <laughs> I, I honestly don't even know what to say to you guys. What are you feeling right now? Uh, listen, first of all, if John doesn't pull Danny DeVito, we don't go to sudden over uh, or, uh, s uh, overtime and uh, corruption wins outright right there. Uh, if I come out with Hayden Pantier on my question, which I missed, uh, we win. If I write David or Russell down in time, uh, we're still we're playing at least to another question. So you know, John uh, took us as far as we went in this game, and you know, if there's anybody that that uh, you want to look at for the loss, it's me. I mean, there was a lot of times where I could have stepped up and I didn't step up. Don't John carried that. us in this game. Don't say that. John, you're shaking your head over there. What's going no, on? Oh, Dan, you answered a majority of our round one questions. You did a great job. You, I mean, like it's just. Look, what do you want me to say? Yes, the Danny DeVito thing was a great pull, and it was nice, it was fun, and I didn't even know if it was right or not, but I remember him being in the movie, so I got lucky. But this thing here, I was happy to let Dan lose the point, as long as the David O. Russell, that's, a, that's another heritage. That's a man from another frickin' island, okay? David O. Russell, O. Russell, O is another name. O is not O, apostrophe, Russell. It's a ridiculous decision, and to, to have it come down where it could have easily been, look, we'll take one point from you, one point from you, we'll play another round, and then neither one of us would have had a fucking issue. But it becomes a thing. You throw in the respin, you throw in the other ones that have been fucked in this game, and I'm just tired of it. I'm just tired of it. The rules change every two months. Oh, now it's this, and now it's that. I mean, I could argue, Dan answered first. It doesn't matter what he writes on his stupid-ass whiteboard. He answered first, so he's right. He's not cheating off anybody. The whiteboard's supposed to be backup, so if you fuck up the question, if you hear someone else say it, you don't repeat it and then cheat and get a point. Dan's not cheating. He should have gotten the David O'Russell. Then they could have gotten the David O'Russell. Then we would still would have been tied and start all over again. That's the fair way to do it. So I, I, I just don't like the decision, and it's frustrating, and I... I'm very sorry to everybody I blew up and, and blew up on the, but I care about this game a lot. I work really hard. I spent hours studying movie trivia to be good, to pull Danny DeVito out of my ass. I spent a lot of hours doing that shit. And this man does too, and I respect and I love him, and I hate that we lost this way because I have no problem losing in an honest competition, <sighs> and I feel like that decision screwed us over. So I'm sorry, Jen. No, uh, listen, uh, the last time I was standing in this spot, talking to you, right here i was where john is right now with this game uh it had taken me down as low as it could take me and i didn't want to come back and play it again either i really didn't and getting the chance to play with this guy is what brought me back he was the first person to text me after that match to tell me how much i was going to come back and kick ass and he did. so <coughs> as surely as i knew that he was right when he told me that i was going to be back out there 
I'm just as right that he's going to get out there again with someday this, too. This isn't just a game for those of us who play, for put our asses out there, for you guys to make fun of, and for you guys to come see or support us. We work hard to win, to play, to do our characters, to do everything. You can see the emotion in his eyes. You can see the emotion in mine. I hate losing this way because this isn't how warriors go out. We go out losing on our shield, not by a decision. And that's my issue with it. That's why I blew up. I have no problem. You've seen me take losses and not have no blow up, not get upset. Just go, you know what? He was just better on that day. But something like this goes to the heart of the game and the competition of the game. And that's why we're both emotional about it because we know one more round, we'd have been fine. If we don't get the answers right, game over. If I, and I know corruption would have been fine. Regardless of Kalinowski being a little bit upset, he's a good guy. He would have understood. And Chance was in too. So the decision was easy, in my opinion, to make. One to one, we move on to the next round. So I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep on, but you know. I think it goes without saying that you two are two of the best, if not the best players we have in the league. And so much of this league is built on your shoulders. And <laughs> I mean, it's it's hard standing here with you guys because it's like you guys do mean so much to this league. And I mean, I'm really excited, John, to see your match coming up with Bibiani. And I hope that this doesn't sour the whole situation for you because you do mean the world to this league. I work too hard. I work too hard. and. I don't know if I'm going to do the title match, I'll be honest with you, because the shit you get from everyone, including competitors, including fans, oh, you're handed this, oh, they, they took away this, you're trying to do this, you're trying to do that, all those accusations, I have to hear it all in the wind. I'm just playing. People say, come, Christian says, you got to play this, you got to play this. I do what he asks me to do because I love the game. And I take the shit because I love the game. So <laughs> when people put it down, when people scoff, when people make fun of it, I defend it. Oh, I love you both. Yeah, like I said, I just look forward to uh, walking out with this guy at the Spectacular and watching him win the belt again. That's what I look forward to. Bibiani? And, uh, and, and who knows, if he, if he beats Bibiani, I guess at the Spectacular, he'd be... I, first of all, I'm going to watch him go out and beat Bibiani. Then I'm going to walk out in the Spectacular and watch him defend that belt unless I'm the one playing him. <laughs> Because you know, you know why I'd be playing you, John? It's because you brought me back. You helped bring me back from where I was, and I'm going to help bring you back. And that's not, this is not for show. This is not for uh, a drama. Uh, I'm, not th I'm not the character guy, as I hear a lot uh, yeah. <laughs> on every slowdown forum that there is. But I'm telling you, I've been here, and I know what it feels like. And I love playing with this guy, and, and I'm, I, I can't wait to help him remember how <laughs> fun this game is because I you know what I, they, they played a hell of a game and I had a Thank good time man. out there today. Ironically sorry Jen ironically <laughs> Mark Ellis I gotta go blow my nose guys. who made this decision you gotta respect he's one of the founders of the game I'll get over it but Mark Ellis said this too when Roka goes down he always gets back up so Bibiani I'm over it now I'm coming for that goddamn title I'm gonna fuck your world up kid you jumped in on every judge question because you think you know better you piss me off now I'm coming for you, bitch. Get fucking ready. No heels, no face. I want that title around my goddamn shoulder, around my fucking waist. But either way, I'm coming for it. So get ready. Get ready, you clown. That was a plot twist. Very, very emotional interview. Uh, very powerful. We interview. heard everything Mark except uh, yeah, uh, the salt and pepper coke king donkey. Salt and pepper coke king donkey. Play Bateman and Riley in the next round. And I don't want to take anything away from those guys because they played great. The mm -hmm. kid played great. Kalanis, he played great, and they're moving on. Um, you got to give – listen, this was an emotional moment. This is a tough decision also for you um, because we, we, as we moved forward, th like you said with the rules summit, what we had, the rules are set in stone at this point. That was the rule. You made the call. I stand by your call. I agree with you, and I think that now that this thing goes forward, you look at the – it's the passion with what Roca and Merle play with. You saw it in that interview, what they have done for this league what it means to them and you know it, it, you got a chance to talk to john a little bit afterwards and you can tell he's just fired up because he this means a lot to him in this word anarchy you expect chaos you expect crazy things happening on the stage you never want it to come down to a ruling like that in sudden death overtime but that's how the ball bounces and when you look at john roca and dan merle we said at the outside of this tournament who's going to have the best team chemistry right. could potentially let us know who's going to win this whole thing well roca and merle we had no idea how they were going to play off one another i think that that match in that post interview proved that 
they might be put on this earth to complement each other in movie trivia schmodown, not just with no. their knowledge, but also with being the emotional backbone for one another in the same way that Merle, when he was down, looking at Roka and seeing yep. what a champion, yep. how a champion carries himself. Now Roka looking at Dan and seeing John Roka run the gamut of emotion during the course of a post-match interview. He's ready to throw it all away and retire and ride his horse into the sunset. And then he dug deep. He saw that resolve, a la Rocky, staring at himself in the mirror in Rocky Three, And now he's probably already doing wind sprints with Dan Merle on a beach somewhere. <laughs> you, it's funny. You said that's exactly what I think. They're Rocky. Way to lighten the mood, Mark. Okay. Okay. The film. They really are. Um, they they have become really close friends because of it. And it's funny from where you watch where they went from as competitors against one another to legit. And this is like just as friends and how much it means. And Dan was able to talk Roca and just let him know his support is there. And I believe that that when Roca is there at the spectacular, Dan's going to walk out with him. Unless, of course, like you said, Dan being uh, you know uh, playing him. But uh, but Roca's got a big step to playing Bibiani. He's got to play Bibiani. He's got to beat Bibiani. And now he's got the support. Is this going to hurt him going into that match because it's right around the corner? Or is he going to rise above it? Or is that determination to beat Bibiani going to do it? But I don't want to take it away from corruption. They have advanced. Mike Kalinowski, Chance Ellison, the kid um, really came to play. Mm -hmm. He was the MVP of this game. Uh, and now we've got corruption going up against who's the boss, Ben Bateman and Mark Riley, and that's going to be something. Yeah, and did you notice in the match, I don't want to say it was a passing of the torch, but a little ceremonial gesture of Mike Kalinowski to let Ellison pick the numbers for round three that they wanted to select. We end up going to sudden death and getting an all-time great match. And uh, for anybody out there who thinks that ruling was controversial, you can go on the message boards, you can go in the chat rooms and all that stuff. Don't yell at any of the competitors. In the words of the great Oklahoma State coach Mike Gundy, don't go after my kids. I'm a man. I'm 40. You come after me. Well, and also thank you to everybody. Thank you I'm all not 40, the patrons. I'm actually 38. All right. Well, thank you, patrons. Make sure that once again, I'm 31. Sign up, check it out. This month is the horror exhibition match, and you guys can get it for Halloween. Just make sure it's exclusive just for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank everybody. We'll see you next month. Okay. Well, well, well. We got a little bit to talk about here. Um, <clears throat> I see both sides of that argument. Uh, back when the Jane Fonda thing happened, I supported the decision wholeheartedly. This time, I'm a little bit more on the fence because I see where both of them stand in terms of that decision. I do think... <coughs> I think the call on Dan's is, is accurate. But I also agree with, with John on the ruling about um, the answer that was given on the other side, too. So um, it's really hard to make that kind of decision. Um, it's almost like when the challenge was made, it's only like they were making a challenge on one side where I think they were making a challenge more for both sides. But that both ends of the, um, the challenge didn't look like they were really taken into account. So... Um, I guess I'll take a look at the message boards uh, on the Facebook page, see what all the kerfuffle will be made. Um, obviously, this is going to be talked about for many, 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 many days. Um, so, what what can you do? Congratulations, Mike and Chance. You, you ended up making me wrong. What, what a surprise. Um, so, they go on <coughs> to play the, uh, the 80s sitcom that is Who's the Boss?, Ken Knapsack and Tom Dagneo, manager versus manager. Uh, that's going to be fun. So much fun. Um, so, yeah, our final four teams uh, for this uh, Anarchy Tournament are set. And any one of them will be deserving winners. But who will they be? Well, we'll find out when this tournament comes to, uh, to a close. With that being said, that's going to do it for this edition of JTH Reacts to the Movie Trivia Showdown. Watch their content first. It is the right thing to do. Follow me on Twitter at WWEJTH1. Follow the official Movie Trivia Schmodown Twitter page at The Schmodown. And, of course, follow the official Movie Trivia Schmodown Facebook page. There's going to be some people with a lot to talk about in the next week. I can guarantee you that. And as I said in the very beginning of the, vid uh, the video, this coming week, Schmodown Trivia Schmodown, you will see me team up with Schmodown Central host Brad Thomas. We will play Tyler Myers and Tin Sim Team Master Post. We will be the lead-in for Matt Kearns, A. Flores, and Chris Delitsky with the opportunity of one of them to get to challenge for the Schmodown Trivia Schmodown Championship of the World. 
be there or be square, and I still have no clue what that saying means. But that's going to do it. This is JTH. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I bid you adieu, adieu.